Okay. Got my stuff ready to go. So today I am back at Par Park. Um, Par Park was the first place that I ever went to to paint at. And so I'm standing right by the first place I painted. I painted at that little bench right there. I'm here today again to paint. I'm really excited to paint today, but this is the first time I will oil paint here. So I'm really excited to do that. Um, last time we were here, my sister was exploring a little bit. So I'm going to go to the place that she found to see about painting there. So very excited. how full the little stream is, the water. Wow, that's so high. Wow. It's really pretty. Wildflower butterfly habitat, it says. Let's go see what's around. This is really pretty. I like this tall grass. This is a really pretty spot. I think I might might want to paint here. This is really nice. The sounds. I don't know if you guys can hear, like I think they're are those crickets? Or cicadas. That could be either one. But it's a really peaceful sound. Seems like this is it. I really like this. So pretty. It's not very windy today, but I'm still putting my backpack on the bottom hook of my tripod just because it's a really handy spot to have it sitting. So then I can have my bag for dirty paper towels just sit right in there and I can access that easily. So little helpful hint that I've enjoyed. So today I'm using a nine by 12 panel so I've been using a lot of 8x12s recently, but we're going 9x12 today. And what I love about this scene is that there is a trail that kind of goes into the scene and it kind of leads you in. And so I'm really excited to try and see about capturing that today. So I'm going with a burnt sienna um, tone again. I think that will be really pretty on this overcast day to kind of have that as the background. So, going to start off with that today. So this painting is going to be a green study, basically, um, how to mix different color greens and like make them look different but also good together. But the other interesting thing about today is that I'm officially a graduated high school student. And so this is my first plein air painting as a graduated high school student. And so yeah, it's a special day because... I mean, I'm graduated. I, I can say that a lot of times, but it's still exciting. So, yeah, that's this special painting. This is ultramarine blue, and I'm going to mix some um, medium yellow in um, with it. This yellow. I'm trying to slowly build up the color so I don't like mess it up. Like it's something I don't want at all. It's a hard mix between getting 
like a brown green and like a pretty like balanced green. And that's what I'm looking for today, a balanced green. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for those trees. Oh, I totally forgot that side. Man, I thought I was done with the trees. Okay, now I'm going to work on the sky. I'm gonna get the sky done.
Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the detail brush to add a few more elements. I'm gonna do this tree and then some a few more elements in the grassy field just to kind of like finish it off. about all I'm gonna do for the tree, but I'm gonna go back and add a little bit of color in the little pockets. That's all I'm gonna do for those trees. But now I'm going to finish this bottom area. Just about done. Okay, I think I am all done now. This was such a fun paint to come out in this beautiful field on this beautiful overcast day, and I'm really happy with how it turned out.